The CP Republic is brought to you by Smart and Talk and Text. And welcome to the newest episode of the CP Republic. Ako si BR. And I'm Jam. And we have a special guest for today. And a <laughs> very special guest. Very special. This Yo, you were my special. This are this are this, this our first time to have a you know special a special guest in yes. our in our show. And uh, who else would be that special guest? Kundi si Mr. Mark Milan Makanas of TechPinas.com. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. I'm honored to be a part of your show. I well, hope you in this episode. Siyempre, special friend ka namin. Yeah. Uh, Siyempre, ikaw si Tech Pinas. Da! Ako. Da! 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 No, it's because of the readers. So, uh, I, I'm sure tayo rin naman. We're very grateful to those who will follow us, who listen to what we have to say, who watch us then or every week or every day in our blogs, who follow us in social media accounts. Oh, Without you guys, Kami, we're, we're, you, we're hoping that we can get our viewership so we can get our Mr. Tech Pinas. If we become regular, we can see our show. But we can see our show. Hi TV friends and of course so, to the followers of Jam and Reg. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Alright, so again, ja, uh, Mark, thank you for you know, for joining us. Tonight. Anytime, anytime, just let me know. Alright, so uh, let's get out. Let's get on to business. And dami natin pag yes. We were not able to have an episode last weekend, so we have a lot of catch, uh, catching up to do. Uh, last week, we were talking about the Mobile World Congress was held, and uh, marami ano, maraming mga smartphones ang ano ang nilaunch ng panahon na yon. So uh, we're going to discuss one by one. And the first, ano, the first in our agenda is the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, Edge. Edge. Okay, so um, jam tiba and dami nating mga leaks dito na babasa for how many months? Mm-hmm. Tapos to the point tanga na may retail box pa tayo ng ano nakita, <laughs> no? Tapos uh, na katawa lang eh ang or- um, order ng ano big boss ng Samsung eh. Embargo pa rin <laughs> At alam na, alam na yung uh, units, nakita na lahat yeah, Ayun ako, nakita na lahat, na jump frustrating Pero, Actually with Samsung, no? and actually the past few, three years or more Parang in terms of leaks, medyo uh, Very accurate na mga nagli-leak ano? Very yeah. mga oh. industry, industry insiders so, are very accurate So na- nasisira, kaya na nasisira rin yung ano eh yung surprise ano eh. Yeah. I can diba? still remember yung S3. Nung S3, wala pa, wala pa yan. Wala pa yung mga tao. Oh, yeah. Nashock pa yung mga, wow, beto pala yung smart yeah. phone, quad core. Pero nung S4 na, tanda ko yun, nasa school ako noon, may isang leak na the day before. Doon na nagsimula yung sunod-sunod na leaks. Then the S5, meron na yan, S6, ganun din. Then the yeah. S7. Unbelievable. But I think it's because the consumers know na rin what to expect eh. Yeah. More or less, parang na isip nila this, this is going to be the chipset mm. or the RAM or the internal storage. But the design, of course, yun yung medyo na kagulat na grabe na yung leak ngayon, ano? Right. So anyway, yung na uh, ang ano, uh, now that the, the phones uh, have come out, no, uh, we'll just do a quick ano lang, quick rundown lang on what ano, what has changed, okay? okay. So uh, for the Galaxy S7, um, halos pareho yung forma. But there's a slight, you know, there's a slight change at the back cover, okay? Yes. And the, um, like, uh, tayo, no? Uh, actually, ikaw, you have an S7 Edge, kami ni Jam, we, uh, ay, sorry, S6, S6 Edge. Edge yes. Kami ni Jam, we both have an S6. The, the back cover of the of the S6, um, it's flat, eh. It's mm. flat. But you said S7, uh, it's cur- oh, medyo curve, yung, ano, yung edges, yung, ano, niya, yung back, niya. Mm-hmm. it curve on its sides, okay? Curve on its sides. It actually, th- uh, you actually thought, uh, think that you might be holding an S7 Edge, okay? <laughs> no, because curved yung ano, ilikod eh, ng, uh, ng S- S7 Edge, eh. curved din yung sides niya, eh. so yung back sides, uh, not the, you know, not the one on the front, okay? So it's much more comfortable, no? Um, you, ano, eh, malalaman naman na you're holding a different phone, even yeah. though the, the yung itsura niya is, oh, ano, slightly the same okay mm-hmm. pero the S7 has a darker shade uh, yes. of color compared to the uh, compared to the S6 now okay so aside from that the uh, the, uh, the biggest you know, the biggest uh, one of the biggest improvements here ginawa nilang S5 in a sense na 
It's now water resistant. It's IP68. Yes. Uh, pero may baba sa tubig uh, for 30 minutes. Not sea water, okay? It has to be, you know, it has to be uh, clear water. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also dust and all. Dust resistant as well, okay? So, mabasam, uh, okay lang. No problem. Then, a problem na this ano, sa Essex, it's not expandable, the storage. This time, they made it expandable. Yes. So, naturally, the variant that will be coming out is a dual SIM. So, the second SIM card is a hybrid. It's a hybrid nano SIM. Right. It's, mm -hmm. it's a hybrid it nano SIM that doubles as a micro SIM. Exactly. Exactly. So, this one can store up to 200 gigs of, uh, of, of micro SD. Oh, which is your highest available na yeah. pwede natin mabili ngayon. Right. So, future, how does future proof na siya, diba? You have 32 gig, then you have an additional 200. Uh, the RAM is now 4 gigs. Mm -hmm. So, you have more and off, more uh, space on your, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your RAM. So, basically, it's smoother, multitasking. Right. Basically, uh, right. Android talaga is uh, relying talaga sa memory, sa RAM. Right. Sa architecture very, ng software niya, talaga ano siya sa Very specs intensive. Kasi yes, yun. tama. Right. The camera, uh, yung camera niya, ano, ano rin, um, in improved in a sense na the, the sensor, the, the aperture has, ano, has been lowered to 1.7. On both cameras, uh, both on the front and uh, no, and rear camera. So, um, what I'm what we're trying to say here is, on low level, uh, no, low lighting level conditions, um, it will still be able to get enough light yeah. uh -huh. without using the flash. You will still be able to get uh, uh, better pictures during uh, no, during night time or no, any time na sa madilim ka lugar. So basically, kasi the aperture is the is the element inside the camera module that uh, basically dictates how much light is captured by the camera. So when there's low light and you have a, a good aperture, mas maraming detalye yung makukuha niya. Basically, the bounce of the light will mas malaki yung makukuha ng camera mo. So kahit medyo mal lower yung uh, ambient lighting, di ba? The, the medyo low light condition when you use the camera, clear pa rin. So, yeah, this is the main advantage of having a better aperture. Yes, tama si Mark Dodd. So the display is now in a nice, it's improved, no? Uh, not in a sense, not in the size, but in the, you know, uh, resolution, okay? It's now, uh, it now has Quad HD. It wasn't that it was Quad HD before. Actually, it's Quad S HD before. S it S S6? S6. Yeah, the S6 with the S6? S6 is Quad HD. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Everyone makes a mistake. So, you know? yeah, so there's no, there's no difference. Yeah. There's no difference. But I thought, Maybe because now it's smoother. The oh, transitions are now smoother. Yeah, it's brighter. Uh, but, better. Iba na yung kanya, no? Kasi the, the hues are ano? Eh, kasi parang I swear eh, and, and this was noticed by a fellow blogger the other day. Na parang Mas, we so, noticed that the the, the the yung yung color blue, no, like sa Facebook, tiba yah the Facebook blue, and they also have yung ano yung eh, blue, no. Eh, parang wow, but parang it must improve yung color blue, yeah. yeah. No, so actually, I don't know. no, parang that's one of the weakness of, I mean, noted weaknesses of Super AMOLED then before. Na parang the the colors tend to be not so accurate. Hmm, this is huh? actually hindi talaga accurate uh, uh, Super AMOLED. Talaga oversaturated siya para. Yun yung actually ano nila eh. Gusto nila mga oh, oversaturated You made the trade kulay. off eh. No? Oh, okay. yeah. Pero at least now they're working on it. Diba? We saw naman on the S7. Yeah, so the S7. And, and the processor, well, it's it's using, uh, it's still, okay. Uh, there are two processors um, uh, in, in that's supporting the Galaxy S7. There's the Snapdragon processor and there's the Exynos. Yes. So, since we're here in the Philippines, we're talking. Uh, what's going to be released here is uh, officially, uh, officially, is the Exynos. To be specific, kasi, Exynos 8890. Oh, because Exynos that supports dual SIM. The Qualcomm, na no, the Qualcomm na variant is, uh, from what, from my understanding, doesn't support the no, doesn't support dual SIM. That's why we're going to only have, we're only going to have the Exynos. Na variant dito sa Pilipinas. But I'm gonna complain actually. Sabi, parang, ah, Exynos, parang, parang. Because 820s 
parang natingin na mas marami, it's more powerful, di ba? No man, yeah. yung chismis na, ano eh, na pangit na nga. Parang, come on guys, yeah. I mean, I've been, we've been using Exynos for what? Which is the S, S4? Actually, it's the S4. Actually, it's the very S4. Oh, my, my first time was with, was, was with the S5, and I'm happy with the, you know, with the with, with what I'm experiencing with the S5. Yeah. And I'm even much more happier with the S6. And you gotta ask me later, uh, um, in in our, in, our, in another segment, what what my experience is on the ano naman, on the S7. Um, we're gonna discuss that later. No? But I think I want I want to note that though, it's good that they're bringing the dual SIM version to the Philippines mm-hmm. because Filipinos uh, Asian Asian, <laughs> Asian, 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 Asian market. market. Actually, it's not only the Philippines; eh. it's for the whole Asian market. Oh, yeah. Asian, Asian market talaga ang ano talaga na Asian it's market dual, dual SIM territory, right. dual SIM right. territory. Right. Unlike sa US, kaya sa US, US, uh, yung South America, gumagamit sila ng Qualcomm. Kasi bukod para sa antenna bands nila, it's yeah. dun, dun din sa ano, yung sa regarding doon sa SIM. So parang mas compatible talaga yung that territory. But mm. here, I think Filipinos would love to have it. Kasi marami rin nagtatawang sa atin, di ba doon? Nagdual SIM ba yan? Lagi gano'n eh. So, isa smart, isa san. Yeah. Correct. Or talking text. Uh, <laughs> well, di ba? Alright. So yung ano, uh, and uh, one last thing that they proved is also the battery. Uh, the battery yes, uh, is my favorite. Is na, I think this is not true because all along I thought the battery of the S6 was 3,000 mAh. No, uh, it's a lot smaller. But lot smaller. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it just it just kind of stuck to my head. And ako naman parang okay naman yung battery life. Hindi ma- I'm not complaining. Yeah. Pero now that I you know, uh, apparently 3,000 mAh is only with the S7 na ginawa lang 3,000 mAh. So that's a uh, tremendous leap, you know. That's a tremendous improvement in terms of the size, and yes. sure, it will translate with a better chipset, more energy efficient. Oh, it but, will translate into longer up time. Uh, one one thing I noticed. Okay, so the battery para was two thousand five hundred fifty milliamps. Yes, well, it's really thought it was three thousand. I really yeah. thought it was three thousand. The problem is the S six. Uh, may thermal problems sa Exynos. So, uh, mas maiksi na yung battery life. Kasi pag mas mainit siya, mas mabilis maubos yung battery life. Right. Okay, another thing. Uh, well, uh, this may not uh, be important to everyone. But uh, I just uh, learned the other day na wala pa lang infrared yung, ano, yung S7. Ah, uh-huh. tinagal na yun. They removed it. Oh, it they, there used to be one in, ano, in, in the S6 and S6 Edge. Where they removed it. Then, the four of the the people in the official uh, Philippine uh, Galaxy S7 uh, Facebook group, uh, but they were asking them why it's not gone. Because it's mean, you know, they want to use it as a remote control. Eh, pero ang tingin ko kasi is hindi na uso yun eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, like for example, you guys. Have, when was uh, the last time you used an IR? Uh, the, the the IR sensor. Uh, it's, it's, been a while. it's been a while, no? It's been a while. Yeah, it's a G2 for the aircon. When I played the prank na ginawa kong 16 degrees yung ano, <laughs> sa isang restaurant and everybody was chilling. No? Tapos, pero yung ano kasi, mga appliances ngayon can be controlled via Wi-Fi. Eh. Mm. That's my, ano, that's my way of thinking. The appliances can, everything, uh, almost all appliances can be controlled via Wi-Fi. So, for example, for home entertainment, have you? Uh, I don't know if you guys have the Samsung HomeSync, which uh, they gave us uh, last year. The HomeSync, wala ko na. The HomeSync, no? Uh, the HomeSync can be controlled via Wi-Fi lang eh. Mm-hmm. I mean, the app. Even the Samsung sa, TVs. They said to iba, eh, paano mo control aircon? Well, aircon, air conditioning units can be controlled via Wi-Fi as well. Mm-hmm. The ref can... Heck, even nga yung CDR King na power outlet nga eh, can be controlled via Wi-Fi. So, uh, infrared kasi may limitations yan eh. Mag-block mo lang yung line of sight, wala na. It, uh, it will not function. Whereas Wi-Fi, that's more, you know, that's more universal. But so, ano. of course, though, we, we were not discrediting naman, of course, the needs of the people who are a fan of the IR sensor yeah or pero the, the IR blaster. yeah but but but, uh, but that, that's how ano, that's how technology, technology goes that's how that technology goes i mean uh, i i i used to feel i had the same feeling of these people a decade ago when 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 we were still using pocket pcs and uh, <laughs> reklamo ako na oh bakit wala nang IR oh bakit tinanggal niyo yung ano parang 
But that's how that is. That, they, 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 these people are forward thinking and they don't care about what's happening in the present. What they're looking forward to is yung, what will happen in the future. They are looking at something that we don't know. Yeah. yeah. And, and these people, like we, these common users, that because they're using remote control, but for uh, no, uh, realistically speaking, they don't need it. There's a remote control for yes. that. They and are, I want to know. There's a, I mean, there's a there's a remote control for the TV. But if yes. you want to control all everything, you don't you don't need a no. You, it can be controlled via Wi-Fi anyway. Yes. So and I want know. to note that because Samsung, well, ito kasing handset business, the mobile devices business is just one arm of Samsung, di ba, uh -huh. Samsung also has the appliance uh, business, appliances business. So I bet the removal of the IR blaster has something to do with, Which them, is, with it, the technologies that, that they're introducing in the other yes, categories. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yes. With the appliances of Samsung, there's some no of them no, are, 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 some, IR, some right? of them already have Wi-Fi built in. Yung air condition, so it's, yeah. it's more yung, of the yung mga, yung mga mm -hmm. And yeah. even Sony, and even Sony, and let's not let's get away from Samsung for a while. Let's go to Sony. In Sony, naman, ano rin, lahat naman yan via NFC or Wi-Fi, di ba? Via NFC or Wi-Fi, eh, di ba? So yes. um, anyway, I'm. Na, 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 ano ko lang kasi may mga hardcore users talaga. Ano siya, yung trivia lang ako. Since nasabi ni Mark na meron tayong smart, appliance, eh, smart appliances, meron iba't ibang industry si Samsung, meron ako trivia doon. Alam nyo ba na si Samsung, uh -huh. gumagawa din sila ng tanks and weapons for South Korea. Actually, meron silang industry yeah. na gano'n. Alam ko yung ano, alam ko yung missiles. Uh -huh. Yes, yung gumagawa din sila. Actually, their biggest business talaga is shipping. Uh -huh. Oo, yung, yung heavy industries. Sabi, sabi nga nila, I, I read an article somewhere na, this, this, the mobile devices business of something is so small now for them ah, but to us it's very big but for them it's very small that if, even if they start to do not so well in it para to them hindi siya masyado lang, oh, 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 hindi, okay pa rin sa kanila yun eh para is their shipping business pero uh, I don't think it's still okay because you know they already made a name for Correct. themselves yeah. and, 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 and it's more the pride and, then it's more yeah, the pride then oh. anyway okay let's move on to the S7 Edge uh, the S7 Edge um, now has a bigger screen, okay? Yes. It used to have 5.1, but now it's 5.5, okay? 5.5 being on screen, yeah. Um, well, it's basically, the specs are basically the same. In lang, the screen is just bigger, alright? And the battery uh, is not, now has 3,600 milliamperes, okay? So, the, uh, no, um, another thing that I need to note here is yung edge display kasi I, I was kind of disappointed with the edge display of uh, the S6 six edge. and the edge uh, 6 edge S6 edge plus no kasi wala kang masyado magawa eh. yeah the, 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 the functionality is very limited but then right. it's but, a cool innovation for me right but but, but for the S7 edge okay they made some improvements i uh, i don't know if you guys know this during the unpack no but uh, what I noticed was, mas marami na silang applications doon ngayon. Yeah. More useful. Okay? Under, you know, they have, you have, rows. you have scrolling news yeah. on the edge. You have, uh, you have, a, even, you even have a compass for crying out loud. No? Basically, you have more functions now, and uh, uh, hopefully more developers would, you know, would, uh, would, support, would support it. The problem, kasi talaga with that one is yung support for developers. Yeah. And since sa uh, ano naman ni developers, why would I support that if wala namang gumaga o lang bumibili ng device na yan? So, or kailangan both ano yan eh. It's not as massively successful uh -oh. as the other models. Actually, tulungan dapat si developers dyan sa si Samsung eh. Well, yeah. Pero tingin ko kasi, uh, you, know what, you know what I think about this? It, uh, people wouldn't care anyway about the edge display. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They won't. They won't. They won't. You. They won't find it useful. No? Okay. But, but they, they will find it as a novelty because. <laughs> they, a, ser oh, seriously, it it's looks true. really nice. May mga yeah, yeah. nice. And, and, Honestly, and, and, no, yeah. I'm an S six. I'm an S six edge owner. Eh. Yeah. For me, of course, you have features of the S six edge. For example, when you when you put it face uh, uh face first or. Uh, Na yung the display is on the table, it lights up the side if you have messages. Of course, you can scroll then sa, you can you can like touch the, the edge to access <coughs> applications or contacts, diba? But for me, the main thing about the edge display, 
ano siya, it's very cool, di ba? Parang it, it's, a, it's an innovation, I always say, it's an innovation that's unique to the Galaxy, that's unique to Samsung. So, it's it's a feature that you can show to your friends now. Parang, right. parang it's ano, no? Ang cool nito, ito lang, ito lang yung point na meron ganito. Pwede, pwede eh, conversation no? start, eh. Why, yeah. Yeah. Not so, so, so much the software features, but because of the the, the design itself, uh, how cool it looks, kasi, eh. how tignan. fun it looks. Yeah. Now, you ano, uh, for example, ako, um, uh, I use the S6 Edge Plus no? uh, during my trip to Palawan last year and you know the days weeks after that it was my main phone no um, yeah hindi ko nang nagagamit yung display features the edge display features but I don't care anymore because I have a good looking phone okay <laughs> I have a fucking good looking phone mind my language I'm sorry pero it, that everyone just, looks at, you know, yeah, and everyone's like looking at it. Then it's it's a really it's a real head turner, and um, talagang ano eh, uh, forget about the functionality. People love looking at it, and true enough. Uh, ngayon they still they still uh, they still want to download it. Tapos yeah. ako but may S7 pa eh. <laughs> at wala at sana yun na lang yung S7 Edge na lang ang S7 Edge na tay. Pero they you know they still released it and. Now, but it's more of the intermediate thing. Now, the question is, why is it 5.5? I uh, think it's because of the intermediate, I know, eh, the, from 5.1 of the S6, then the 5.7 of the S6 uh, Edge Plus. So, we big it. It's just slightly smaller. Diba? Plus, of course, when you look at the footprint, it's a little bit different. Actually, it's cute. Ano, ano, eh, I, I like the S size plus. of the 5.5. Okay, I like the size of the 5.5. Pero mapapaisip ka ba? Why 5.5? So, most probably, di-ditch na nila sa S6 Edge Plus and then Note 5, Note 6 na lang i-release nila soon. Para, ano eh, yung focus ng tao sa isa na lang. That's a, no, that's a, mm, that's a possibility. Uh, no? Kasi, you have two tablets ng lalaban eh. And, you know, uh, magkakainan yan eh. Magkakainan, eh. Magkakainan, eh. Magkakainan, eh. Magkakainan, eh. sila. Okay, and this is my case. Last year, the top two in my 2015 choices for smartphones, we're both Samsung. Guess who's the number one? Note 5. No. It was Edge Plus. Edge Plus, yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing new with the Note 5 except that it's now you know, it's now made of metal. Diba? But the Edge Plus, ganda pala pag mas malaki. Mas magaan. Diba? Mas masarap hawakan. Yan ang mas may dating. So, if, if, if that's my sentiment, I mean, or that's my comment, rather, and then yung yan din yung com yan din ng lumalabas sa sales nila mas na mukhang kinakanibalize ng S6 Edge Plus ang Note 5 they're in trouble the Note 5 na nga na hindi na ano diba so ting his guess is also my guess na baka mamaya I ditch the oh the and class. just stay na lang uh, high S7 Edge jack na lang sa 5.5 ba ganun na lang siguro Pero ano, ang ganda, uh, type mo yung size ng 5.5. It's not that bad. Oh, not kasi bad. ano rin siya eh, uh, unlike yung dati, sa previous S6, eh ano, hindi siya masakit sa kamay. Mas pwede right. na siyang hawakan. And I also right. want to note, it's in terms of the jump in the, this, the, the way that the predecessor looks compared to the successor. The S7 Edge, sobrang tremendous leap, no? Coming mm -hmm. from the S6 Edge. Right. Diba? The size, the dual SIM capability because the first uh, edge, the S6 inch, walang dual SIM capability yan. Yeah. Also, no micro SD card expansions lang. So now you have the so, yeah. sobrang big jump. And at the same time, it's more affordable. Pero, <laughs> pero, pero, mas affordable pero, pero yung may mga, ano, never, pero, alam mo, may mga tao hindi pa rin nasisiyan sa upgrade. Lagi na humi ganun ata. Yeah, yeah, pero para sa akin, this is a nice upgrade. This is a good upgrade. Sorry. And uh, yeah, we'll discuss more. Uh, actually, we will discuss more of this later. Sa ano, sa hands on the yeah, sa sabi ko na. We have an S7, and we're going to discuss it in our in our hands on review segment later. No? Pero pero yung ano, um, just to be clear lang, uh, Exynos in the release dito kay ayon na sa <laughs> Um Thirty two gig lang ang variant na release nila dito. Plus still not bad since meron. Oh, oh. Ngayon may, may mga nagre-reklamo pa rin pero parang so, kayo parang Come on guys! Thirty two gig! May expandable storage! Ano gusto nyo? Sixteen gig? Ano ba yan? Eight parang, gig. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, 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 and two colors only. And this would be uh, uh, The colors are black onyx, but tawag doon yeah, Black onyx and uh, gold. 
So, no white. No, 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 no white, no white. But I'm sure, like, diba, like last year, they released the the blue topaz and the emerald green, mm, diba, but, eventually. But, so, uh, well, knows, as, uh, yeah, who knows? But as of the moment, ito lang yung ano, in-announce nila doon no unpack, no? And uh, the prices, according to them, S7 is 34,990, which is, well, okay lang. Pwede na for uh, a S7 Edge is a bit pricier at uh, 39,990. Pero mas mura siya. It's a lot more. 3,990. It's a lot more affordable than the S6 Edge. Mas mura siya kumpara last year. Parang 2,000 yata yung. And yun na yung pang sobrang daming dumagdag na features. Yeah, and you know, we're actually going to expound later on the review segment of the S7. Can I ask you now though? If you have an S6, would you would you upgrade? Let's let's discuss that later. Mas mas later. Later. Mas <laughs> later. <laughs> later. All right. So uh yam habana ng usapan natin, natin doon. But Pero, that, that, that's something that they can look forward to do. All right. Later. So uh, next uh any next uh, natin jam, the G5. Uh, the G5. The G5. All right. Let's talk about the G5. So what about the G5? It's a great well, flagship. Well, it, it's a great flagship. Nakatawa. Okay, before you guys came to unpack, no, and we were having dinner with with the fellow technologists. When we first saw the back, uh, the back cover of the you know, of the LG G5, parang, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I thought it's like a China phone. No, kalau kong cherry mobile na ano nga eh, na back cover yan eh, or something. That but actually, that. when they showed it nine, the but flesh, when, when they that. showed it in ano, in the flesh, I ate my words. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Ser- seriously, yeah. I hate my words. Sino may G5? Ha? The, the photos. Ah, the photos. Well, it's a little reason dyan, because of the leaked photos. Medyo unflattering din kasi yung mga leaked it's, photos. Yeah, so I, yeah very it's, unflattering. It's, it's unflattering. Pero, when I when I saw the pictures of, you know, Carlo o, or Cody Cal, Carlo Ovde of Unbox, the PH, who went to Barcelona, yes. no? and uh, held the phone, he took pictures of the phone, para wow. Okay. So, Kasi, uh, we were judging wrongly on the back, okay? Because for the flattering photos. Because for the back cover ng G4, eh. Uh, True. You, yeah, you, have the le- you have leather, diba? You have leather. It's one of the okay? highlights of the G4. Pero we forget na the G5 is truly an upgrade because the whole body now is not made, made of plastic. Yeah. It's made. It's now made of aluminum. Yes. The first time that they came out so something. LG is that releasing something, that, something that, like that. Yeah, exactly. That's because their the, first. Uh, that's their first flagship. Na naka aluminum na. Mm-hmm. Eh, pero wa how many how many years this na naka plastic? From the Optimus. From the Optimus, uh, tiba. Na parating na it's always polycarbonate, tiba. Yes. Pero now they they followed suit. Ayan na aluminum na. Pero hindi lang aluminum. No? It's also. What's what's <laughs> special? What's a special thing about this mark? It's a modular smartphone. It's the first, I think, uh, apart from the Project, the Project uh, Ara. And that's something I like about LG. About they're they're actually they're, they're something I like. Hindi lang yung puro salita. Iba uh-huh. parang yung mega. Well, I mean, they didn't even talk about making a modular phone. I, I don't remember that there was a leak somewhere last sometime last year. Oh no, no. no. LG na modular. Oh no. Talagang ano eh, they just worked on it quietly and launched it, shocking everyone. So, actually, when I first saw the leaked photos, hindi ko akalain na mong jumper. Wala pang nag-leak. Actually, yung parang two days before na NWC Power 3 days, saka lang may nag-leak ng box na ano, ng modular na accessories. Yeah, yes. and I have a thing with modular accessories eh, kasi this reminds me of how pocket pieces were before, no? with the CF card slot. Uh, especially with the CF card slot, you can see SD, Bihira, SD accessories. Eh. Yes. CF mas marami. Like the CF Wi Fi card, the CF uh, uh, GSM modem. Like you can make, you can use your pocket PC as a PDA phone. No? That's where the GSM na, no, ay, wa, CF na may three ano may RJ11 pa na ano na slot so you can connect your dial up <laughs> oh para mapag dial up ka on your pocket PC no? yeah. so these are mo, ano eh um, nice modular things that i used yeah. to do with my pocket PCs before and if no? you remember our laptops had the the PCI express yeah, card the PCI express yeah. card diba yeah. that's the one of the biggest attempts at diba at modular modular 
6 steps, di ba? Yeah, pero... Medyo tinag-take off, ano? Less, ano eh, less... Medyo quality kasi yung manufacturers. At saka mahal din yung, ano? Mahal din yung mga accessories, no? That's true, that's oh, true. So, uh, like, I, I I wanted to buy a PCA Express na, no? Na 3G. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to buy that back in 2008 for my for my netbook, pero wala. Uh, it's too expensive. Anyway, so maganda yung idea, no? You have the... the LG has... Um, two modular, you know, yes. aside from the battery, okay, aside yeah. from the battery, which, you know, this is a very nice uh, model by L- LG, because, diba, you have, Uni- you have, unibody siya, eh. you have a unibody, but there's Uni-bo-boy. a way to remove the battery, and, it's and just by pulling, uh, pulling the, you know, Uni-bo-boy. the la- the latch under, yeah, okay, and sabi nga nila, you can change batteries in, in, in a few seconds, it, so, for example, you have a spare battery, so, Tanggal, kap, tanggal ng battery, kapit ng bagong battery, saksak. And that can be done in 5 seconds. Don't you think, Jam, that it's proof that LG listens to consumers? Kasi lagi natin gripe. Oh, yun yung ina, ano, ano <laughs> eh. Lagi yun tanong, di ba? Oo. Oh. So, but, removable po ba yan? Or non-removable? So, yun yung ano na, ano eh. Actually, yun yung sinabi nila. Nakinig ko kasi ako ng live. Pinag-combine nila yung convenience na gusto ng users and yung design na gusto ng users, which is yung aluminum. Aluminum. Yung aluminum. So, pinag-combine nila yun. Okay. And ang binuo nila is the LG G5. See, yeah. if a company wants to do it, they can do it. Talaga. Sabi nga nila, if there's, if there's a will, there's a way. Uh, no. Pero kasi most companies ito yung una. So, okay. nakocompromise yung uh, dapat the goals ng isang device. Correct. So, kudos to LG. Uh, great job, great job. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the modular. Ano? So far, there are two modular yes. uh, uh, modular accessories yes. available. These are the uh, the, 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 the camera comics. grip, uh, the camera grip, and the other one is the uh, uh, bang and all of the uh, no, yeah. uh, the speaker. speaker. Okay. The camera grip is called LG I, Cam Plus. I, 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 LG Cam Plus. N- now, having having said uh, having said that, uh, they will be coming out with more. Are they really? I'm not sure. I kind of doubt that because. Ano pa nga ba yung accessories na ilalabas nila? But come to think of it, Doc, ah, now that nagawa to ng LG, oh. para mas may tiwala ako sa kanila ngayon na oh, kasi mas magawa si, nila eh. Mas ano sila sa innovation ngayon. Yeah. Mas, unlike Samsung, yeah. Samsung dati right. din yung innovation when it comes to Android. Right. And then, the LG G5 came. Right. Ang ganda nung ano, uh, modular na design nila. I don't know, parang nabilib talaga ako sa LG dito ah. Because, Because, uh, in, in my case kasi, really? yeah, in my case, wait and see pa rin ako. I wanna see... I mean, don't get me wrong, I believe it's a G5. But I want to see what accessories they're going to come up with aside from these two. And 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 this is what I'm hoping. I, this, I wrote actually this in my blog, no? Uh, na, they should also do this for the G6, G7, continuous. Dapat. Most probably. They have to do it. Yeah. And, 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 and if. If if they if they if they can, not only limit it to their you know, to their G series, make it you know, make it ano, na, available for their other you know, uh, other devices, where you can interswap the you know, the accessories. That's the problem with the ano, eh, your compatibility. Or even or even the mid range, no? no no need for the low end of course, but the mid range. If they have select mid range tools, the pending the the modular design maybe not as kasi, powerful as the maybe not as, yeah but you can still use the accessories yeah. that's the whole point eh kasi yung uh, uh, for me that's the whole point para yung accessories nila gumalaw you can sell yeah. them Bumen- on their own oo oh, oh, gumenta kasi kung para sa G series lang yan only the G only the G5 owners would be able to buy so, it kailangan talaga nila mag ano mag expand they have to expand like for example yun nga uh, the reason why I said this kasi masasayang lang ang effort nila to make this design. True. Masasayang lang. And also Kasi to manufacture na- the, 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 the modular parts, di ba? Right. Because you can make more well, of that, actually, you, you than pinag- the units that you sell. Yung pinag-usapan natin yan. The phone that you sell. It's applicable lang doon sa dalawa, which is the LG Cam Plus and yung sa Bang and Orson speaker. Kasi yung other LG friends na accessories is sa drone from Parrot, yung rolling ball na parang si BB-8, yung, yeah. P, yung yeah. VR which is uh, using yung sa 
micro USB slot niya, which is sobrang awesome. Yeah. And then uh, the 360 camera. The 360 right? camera, which is most more pro- most probably magagamit sa iba't ibang. Ako gusto ko yung gusto ko yung 360 oh, camera. Yeah, but there, but for these are not modular, no? Eh. I, uh, yeah, you can uh, just connect with it. Oh, but what, what, what if I just parang hindi masaya yung modular design? They should create more of those. Oh. And that, they, oh. I mean, they should create more accessories. And more phones that would des- that would also support the design. Yeah, and they or, can do it, siguro, not not as complicated as this, no. Kaya may mo, dalawang actually sa nga headset lang. Ay sorry, dalawang headset. Actually sa nga other phone brands would also uh, would also follow suit. Para ano na? Uh, Interswap. Interswap nga. Eh. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Though. Seriously. Although uh, kailangan mas tatay. Hindi mas agree on. Hindi mas agree na lang on the you know on the on the on the same using the same design. Mm. The, but I kind of but PLG uh, pad point patents, no? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a bit hopeless, no? Because this is patented already. I, I assume. But I'm sure if LG I, I wants assume. to make it, you know, for the for the benefit of consumers, mm, then they hopefully, might make it lower. <laughs> hopefully, but I doubt it. Oh, I doubt it. Ah, no, because John is. Ah, we need to standardize, which is in our region. We're going to get it. So, ah, smartphones. If walang Android, which is the standard, the game standard, the OS, that we have now. Wala mo yung smartphones eh. Right. So, um, kung kailangan, kung when it comes dito naman sa modular na smartphones, kailangan meron standardized na design for all the smartphones na kailangan sa dito. Hopefully yung project na harap, hindi right. magdala ng standardized yeah. sa yeah. I want to know, going back to the modular parts, ang ganda ng LG Cam Plus, iba yun, it lets you um, siguro make the most of the camera, which is also stellar, di ba? The, the, yeah. the camera, the imaging capabilities of the G5 are stellar. And of course, it has the additional 1,200 mAh battery capacity. So, parang ano dalhin siya battery case. Actually, both motor good. accessories have oh. extra battery capacities. Eh. Uh, so, para hindi mas sacrifice yung existing ano existing uh, yeah. battery uh, battery capacity ng telepono. Um, well, uh, the, the specs are also upgraded. You know, the, it's now using uh, Snapdragon 820. Uh, well, Bluetooth 4.2 LTE, these are the camera is, is nice because uh, it has two lenses. Okay, 160 megapixels so that's the standard, and 8 megapixels for the wide, uh, for, for the wide angle. So, uh, Mark, um, you can, you know, you can choose to you can choose a standard, the, 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 uh, standard photos or you can take. Uh, wide angle photos yes. with a 135 tamba oh? 100 uh, wait, did I write this correctly oh, well uh, oh understand. yeah you have the, the, the there are two uh, optics kasi 135 ba the press lang kayo ng dalawa sa button actually ito so the display yeah it's 135 degrees yeah, tamba yes. so the, uh so whether you choose a standard photo or a wide angle you know for that's group very wide <laughs> for group photos yeah, so 135 degrees wow di ba? Yeah, it's just very i remember yung ba point of like, like, company shot di ba job oh so kailangan <laughs> lalayo <laughs> talaga so dahil mo para lahat ng photo sa well with the, with this camera can be a lot closer to the subjects or subjects kuhang mo ba talaga sila yeah. so what's your guesstimate on, we we don't have any idea about the price well, what's your guesstimate oh my guesstimate here is around siguro mga 30 to 31,000 mm-hmm. I think uh, but without the modules pa so it, it might be a bit more if you add the uh, LG ca- the, the camp plus well, well having having uh, having you know uh, checked out LG's prices for you know since the G2 I think this will they will price more probably they're gonna price it like 35,000 most probably yeah. Yeah. or yeah. Thir- yeah. Si- to compete then siguro sa S7 baka right if uh, they want to comp- yung talaga taas na si S7, they would probably price it lower sa S7 than yeah. 1,000. Well, sa US, it's, it's actually 650 US dollars. Mm-hmm. So, medyo na, ano, 31, pero expect it, I mean, no, but, guess uh, around of course, 30, they, of course, there are taxes per year. Yeah, taxes per year. You can add a bit more than that. Yeah. And All of right. course, pag may accessories ko, which is a must-have for this model, talaga, it will be, you know, it will be more. Yeah. So, that end, uh, that's, uh, that's the uh, LG G5, folks. So, we have next... Actually, may nakalimutan pa nga tayo. I'm excited with the G5 talaga. May nakalimutan pa nga tayo. Sony. Sony also, ano. Yeah, uh, their X-Series. Their X-Series. Yeah, so, hindi ganong kaputok yung pangalan na X-Series. 
uh, this yung, I mean as a flagship kasi dinis continue na nila Okay diba? sige I'll give a brief ano la story on that basically uh, so Sony will no longer story guy yeah, yeah Sony right. will no longer be releasing Z or the Z series is that's how it is Z or Z, Z uh, series of smartphones which is known as the flagship level uh Sony smartphones worldwide no yeah I don't Sony didn't really disclose the reason why they won't be doing that, but then they're now focusing more in the mid-range category. And for that uh, echelon, for that uh, smartphone category, they have the new series, which is the X series. And when you look at the X series phones, basically they look a lot like the current Z series models. You have the, you have, you still have the Omni Balance design identity, yeah. but this time you no, you no longer have the the glass. Backplate, uh, which is it's in the favorite na din sa <laughs> sa ano ay Xperia models eh. Uh, but the reason why they removed that, well, we can only speculate. Pero according to uh, many users and some some tech sites, then na medyo yun ata yung medyo madaling mabasag sa Xperia when you drop it. Uh, well, personally, that's yeah, personally with, I haven't. In well, that's the case. Account. That's the case with any phones with the uh, with the glass the glass uh, back. Oh, yeah. Uh, but then I I guess it, it's also re- as it, it also serves as a response then siguro sa sa changing needs of consumers now i guess na sa mid range category talaga siya medyo putok na putok yung karamihan kumpanya di ba like for example Huawei in China uh-huh. or in the Philippines like Asus mm-hmm. di ba Asus is doing very well in the mid range category so yeah. uh, this this attempt by Sony by introducing na uh, again the omni Ganda kasi ng Omnibalance, di ba doon? It's one of yeah, the most yeah. gorgeous design languages. Hindi yeah. nagpagawa ng design language nila for the past few years. Because it works, sabi nga nila, di ba? Oh, ang ganda pa rin hanggang ngayon. Yeah, if, it, well, if, it's, if, it, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Ayun na, ano eh. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, Jam and I actually reviewed the Z5 Compact uh, a few weeks ago. I heard and, you're giving it an award eh. Yeah, because... Uh, <laughs> best Compact, best VD, ano ba? Well, it's giving an award because yeah. it's really a fantastic phone, you know. Yeah, it deserves uh, it, 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 Small, small package, but man, it packs some, you know, it packs big features, especially the camera. It's so nice. Yeah. Actually, I want to recommend so that. So sharp, one. so sharp. To users who want the small, because not all of us want. Oh, personally, I'm a fan of fabless like the yeah. Z5 or Z5 Premium, but the compact, because it has the same power, right? Exactly the same chipset. The same imaging capabilities, but in a smaller form. Oh, yun yung maganda dun eh. Kasi walang other brands na nag-offer ng mini version with the same power. power. Kasi ang hanap lang naman ng tao is gusto lang nila mas maliit. Kasi, well, gusto nila mas maliit. Yeah, it's convenient. Mas maliit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for girls, di ba? Well, for girls. Yeah, and you know, when we when we went to, you know, we went to China and uh, Hong Kong, di ba? Oh, yeah, gamit, gamit. Yun, yun ang gamit, gamit ko. So oh. it's easier for me to, ano, to pocket in, uh, to pocket, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I love that phone. And, and uh, of course, buti since, pa, hindi, buti na lang di pa kinukuha sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang ganda kasi akin na lang, Sony, niya. akin na lang. I also like that it's that small, though, na parang, when you use it as a digicam replacement, parang mas madaling i-maneuver, no? parang mas, because it's smaller, yeah. especially with the camera button, mas yeah. mas madaling yeah. siya. Yeah, and ano, it takes, you know, it takes really good photos. Uh, Sorry, so may boy coming back kahit, to the Z. We kahit, just love Sony. Kahit, that, kahit right? na kahit gabi, ang ganda pa rin eh. And you know, it, X more our sensor talaga, is nakakatulong talaga oh, yeah. yung sensor. It's really, yeah. really good. And it, it's actually, di ba parang, uh, it it got an award that the Z5 Z the Z5 Z5 Premium and Z5 Compact na award na to as the best camera phone at the end of 2015. Oh, na parang siya is the best, di ba yun na nakuha niya. So it deserves that. We will play with it. And that's only talaga is uh, no, really good pagdating sa camera. Kasi sila gumagawa, sila gumagawa na sensor. <laughs> if may nagtatrive the business sa Sony, it's the camera sensor. Kasi yun the PlayStation. iPhone cameras are made by Sony. And, and even if phone. even our ano even our local phone manufacturers and the local handsets, when they want to show consumers na sobrang maganda yung camera, camera nila, they will always it's a Sony IMX one two four sensor. So it's yeah. they emphasize that because marketing na rin yan. Pag Sony IMX yung camera mo maganda yan. <laughs> maganda yan, maganda uh, sa low light. You know my my uh uh still on the discussion of Sony Xperia X. No, I just read the. Uh, I just stumbled on one topic by Carlo Oble of uh, Unbox. Okay. Sabi niya, Sony should have just combined Xperia X and the Xperia XA. What do you think, Mark? Um, you think you're more familiar with the, you know? Well, 
is uh, well, Carlo naman has a point because largely because the two phones look almost identical. Eh. But then I would imagine that there are users then that um siguro the, the more price conscious consumers, diba? Mm-hmm. The more price conscious consumers would want to have the the, the the option to choose something that's more affordable and that is the XA naman. Well, you know, na, when this is really ano ah, uh, na panibago because Sony is using MTK processors. Yeah. Mm, which is not common. Pero recently, I mean, ano ko meron niya at last year or last last year, meron na silang ibang devices talaga yes. na hindi available sa lahat. But it's yeah, not, yeah, but it's I didn't reach our shores, I think. You know why they're doing that? Because they achieved some a level of success with that company. For example, the C5 Ultra. Mm. Oh, just a really good smartphone. Yeah, the the bezel-less oh, wow. phone with the great the 13 megapixel front facing mm, flash ganda, bumenta ng pumatok yan sa Pilipinas din so dami mo yun dami mo nakikita mo meron ganun i think it, they're doing it again because they they felt a level of success with with the with that company their chipset so yeah let's see we're hoping for the best then mm. for Sony because yes. we know the com- the capabilities of that company and with the X and the XA ko ano man yung decision na to focus on the video and they look at the nakita natin sa photos diba jam mukha pa rin siyang flagship eh. oh, diba I still, I still want to ano, even though I love the Z5 compact I still want to use the Z5 because it will make me look like James Bond ginamit ni James Bond sa Spectre eh, mm, official diba? James Bond I'm not sure uh, if he used the premium pero all I know is he used the Z5 no? so, premium yata yung ginamit eh, kasi parang masyadong salamin yung likod yeah, with the, the Z5 because has more matte. Oh, right. Yeah, the Z5 Premium is the mirror. Talaga yung yeah. 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 All right, so, um, anyway, next topic. What's the next topic? Natin? Uh, well, we still have. Mate 8. Mate 8. Recently. This is just we launched in the Philippines uh, last year. Yeah, Jeff, just, you were there. And Kate, watch you were there. That's Wednesday. Two, two days ago. Two days yeah, that's ago. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, it's uh, the latest na, uh, flagship smartphone. Ni Huawei na pinatan si Mate S. And nakita natin to sa China, di ba? Nakita we natin sa China. We were, the, we were one of the first dito <laughs> to sa, see, it, uh, to see, see it. it. It's a really good smartphone. Uh, all of, hindi siguro, parang Samsung sila, may sarili silang processor, which is a Kirin processor. Yeah. Pero mabilis eh. Although hindi ko natin sa games, kasi syempre, di ba si Kirin, di ba? Ano yun? Gawa nila yun. Gawa nila yun. Di ba yung Kirin? Character yun ang Dragon Ball? Hindi, yun yung lagi na mamatay eh. Well, si Klili. Klili yun. Klili Okay yun ah. <laughs> well, si Clearing lagi na mamatay, pero ito naman, hindi naman, I mean, okay naman yung well, problem. Wala ko na hindi naman sa mga performance ng Clearing na process. Actually, dati meron. Sabi, overheating daw. Which is before pa yung Mate 7. And then the Mate 7, the Mate S, all of them are really good. Yun yung review. And, well, wala akong review na. So, pero yun yung nabasa ko mga so, reviews. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, actually, maganda naman yung ano, response sa uh, high silicon ng processor. Yeah. Isang gusto ko dito is yung 6-inch display niya. Yeah. It's a 6-inch full HD display. It's not bad HD but still okay. Pero hindi mo mararamdaman na 6-inch eh. Ang nipis ng bezels niya. Yeah. And yung liquid niya, it's curved. So, pag ginawa ko siya yung kamay, isang kamay, ano ba ito? 5.7 ba ito? 5.5? Uh-huh. Tapos ang premium niya pa kasi bakal talaga yung body niya. Napakaganda. Right. Actually, there are those who are criticizing siguro the Mate 8 because of the full HD resolution. Kasi yes. ganyan ba it's 2016 tapos yung mga kalaban din niya, the, the competitors have quad HD HD. display. But let me tell you from someone, and lahat tayo nalaro natin to eh, from, from people who have seen the Mate 8 in the flesh and who have played with it kahit na for, 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 for a short time. The display is really good. Uh-huh. You won't even know that. For personally, yeah, wala akong complaint at all, even if it's full HD. So because to- it's very good, I'm brilliant, because it's very crisp. Sa totoo lang, yung what HD display, nagmamatter lang siya if you're using VR. <laughs> pag naka-VR ka, dun mo na makapansin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pag nanonood ka, makapansin mo may dot na siya. Pero pag uh, quad, HD, eh, quad HD siya, hindi masyado. Yeah. So dun mo lang talaga ma-maximize yun. So what if pa kaya yung, yung Z5 or 4K yung display? Obviously, so, they're trying what to do di- here then, Jam, is to offer siguro consumers that, that choice. No, It's either you go with super pixel beds na medyo slightly slower, or if you're a consumer who likes a big screen real estate, mm-hmm. it's six inch tremendous. Parang if you like browsing the web on your smartphone na, or swiping through photos, or watching movies. I hope personally, I'm a fan of uh, phablets, big, big, no, first note, yun. <laughs> Tagal ko, two, halos two years kong gamit. So, for, for consumers who love big displays, big, uh, so match by movies, power. Okay. It's, it's, it's really good. It's yeah. for gaming then. Okay, then. Well, uh, the Huawei Mate 8, 
is available tomorrow. Tomorrow na pala. Tomorrow na sakto. Tomorrow, uh, sak- sakto. March, March 5. Uh, and then, uh, it's so price is thirty two nine ninety. Which is good. It's uh, uh, slightly nine. lower, slightly more affordable than the S7. No? So, some people might say na sobrang mahal niya. Well guys, this is a flagship smartphone. And Huawei is not just a Chinese brand. It's, they're the uh, number one. They're the number one brand. Yeah, Ch- Chinese brand. They beat Xiaomi in China. Yeah, yes. and uh, Huawei talaga na, no, is really, excuse me, really, really, you know, premium. Almost all of their phones. Okay, yeah. actually, uh, before we forget, no, aside from the Mate 8 that was launched, the other day, the GR5 was also launched. Uh, no, well, by the same brand, okay. So, what's so nice about this? Look, the specs niya, the body, okay, it's also made of metal. You wouldn't realize, you you wouldn't know that it's also being it's being sold for eleven thousand nine hundred ninety. Wow, is it metal na Yes, yes, all metal. No, tapos you have a good camera. I wonder they're, they're doing so well. You have a good camera. Ito sabi sa akin na ano? Uh, ng, uh, natin si Al of, uh, of wow, Huawei Sir Al Timapilis, hi. Yeah, ano siya? And Sir Dino Karanda, hi. Uh, they, they're, 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 expecting, <laughs> they're expecting that the GR5 would be their volume driver. Uh, and ito ha, this is gonna be interesting, okay? Uh, I don't have the GR5 specs with me because hindi tayo nabigyan ng specs. Maybe you can pull it up dyan para ano. Pero, uh, the specs are really good no, for its price point, 11990 This should be interesting. What is the 11990 It's Oppo F1. It's an Oppo F1. F1. You have also Asus. No, it's not Max. Well, well, the selfie name though. Self, the, the selfie, price the selfie. laser. 6.0 yeah, laser. laser. No, this is going to be interesting because the laser, uh, well, it's not made of metal. Mm-hmm. Okay. The F1, the F1 is made of metal. It's made of metal, yeah. But, Pa, uh, lamang ang Huawei sa ano, sa ano, sa specs. Kasi, meron siya, fingerprint sensor. Oh. And, uh, it's a six, uh, 650 na Snapdragon. 650 na Snapdragon. Kapasay ng selfie, ng cellphone cell. And the, 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 uh, well, you, the, F1 is using 616, a newer, uh, uh, newer than, no? That's F1's advantage. That's the F1's advantage. Of course, you, we have to be here. We're very fair to naman to all brands. And uh, I think the F1 has its own no, but, what I, then, but, 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 you know, what I'm trying to say here, this is going to be an interesting, ano, interesting battle in that edge. Kasi, <laughs> kasi, uh, kaya ko na-mention to, kasi, itong mid-range, ano, mid-range uh, market, uh, butas to eh. Okay. What, 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 what do you mean by butas? Uh, the, the laban, the laban is always the sa high end. Okay. Uh-huh. And and sa low end, actually because well, of Chinese mobile, the local brand, local local brand. Local brand. Yeah. So your mid range, na kalimutan ka nang abay maganda sa mid range, mm-hmm. no? Kakaunti lang eh. Recently, uh, I mean recent years, na medyo nakaka nakabawi dito si Samsung. They released the Air their A series, mm-hmm. yeah. their A series, uh-huh. tiba. Pero mat pataas ang presyo nila. Eto eleven thousand pa na nagbabanatan na. Yeah. And you know, um, hindi hindi si sixteen thousand eh, hindi si eighteen thousand eh, eleven thousand na babanatan na eh. So if Huawei is thinking that this, this will be their volume driver, what would be the what would be the reaction of the other brands who are selling phones in the mid range, you know, mid range uh, market? Yeah. This is really gonna be interesting, and I I uh, I, I personally I'll be observing the you know. Uh, I'll be checking na uh, paano nga ba ang sales si Huawei compared to F1, compared to ano. Ang, ang high-end, ni, ang flagship ni Star Mobile, nanganganib yan kasi nasa 14,000 oh, oh, naman 14, siya. Oh, 1416, mga ganun. Yeah, so, diba, and you, and you, where, where you have uh, brands like uh, Huawei and Oppo, both China, uh, both international brands, slugging it out at ele- with, uh, along with ASUS, slugging it out at eleven thousand pesos. Yeah. And you have to, uh, ano pa, take it again. Going back to Sony's strategy of releasing more handsets in the mid-range category, I bet soon. Aside from the X8, may mga maglalabas, maglalabas pa siguro, not just Sony but even LG and Samsung 
will be releasing more siguro handsets in that price price bracket. So again, I think for this for 2016, the battle is going to be in the mid range. Oh, because it's going to be in the market of the Philippines. Well, the economy is gone. From the entry level, entry level to mata as na yun eh. The demand for smartphones is growing sa Pilipinas, and also yung yung capability natin bumili na smartphones. So talagang kailangan din magrap up ni ano ni brands na dapat meron na tayo dito, kasi to mata as yung yung capability ng mga pinoy na bumili na smartphones and yung mismo ng ano yung yeah. smartphone market sa Pilipinas. So, okay, ito ah, because I always get asked by friends, sabi nila may may bilyo bang smartphones? Parang puno puno na yung market ng smartphone from from the from the entry level like Cherry Mobile, like okay. even SKK, di ba parang okay. lahat na halos na tao may okay. smartphone may bilyo ba? Yeah, di ba? So parang mura sabi ko. Hindi mo mawala ng demand sa smartphone dahil yung mga bumili ng entry level dati na mura mag-aspire na sila for uh-huh. something better, something more feature back. And I think it's happening now. What, what's happening now is but a progression that's expected na from people who have transitioned. Like yung nagtatransition tayo from feature phones mm-hmm. into smartphones. So yung mga nag-try out ng basic smartphones S60, now, that. they want to try out something even better. Yeah. So it won't, the demand will always be there because people will continue to improve in their desires. True, uh, that is true. All right. So uh, actually, uh, we have uh, we're on our last no? <laughs> last uh, news, you know, and we have to make seeing it because uh, because Smart is our uh, sponsor <laughs> and our friend, uh, and our, and our, partner, partner, you are our, our partner of the of the these are, these are two of my closest friends. Uh, Mark is also a you know he's a uh, for do, for those who don't know, Mark is also. An ambassador of uh, Smart. Plastic, eh? <laughs> for you know, for it's actually uh, an ambassador for Smart Infinity. You know? At uh, basahin niyo rin yung magazine niya, which is yes. Uh, pag nato kay sa ano, lagi ko pinabasa. Pag nagabang ako, yes. Smart, uh, 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 smart business centers. Uh, yeah. The, the magazine is called Smart Moves. Yes. yes. So, also for I Smart move post pala, move, no? For Smart Postpaid subscribers, you can get a digital copy. Yeah. Ah, meron pa lang oh, digital copy. Yeah. Yeah. My Postpaid application. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a PDF actually. Yeah. Oh. So you can get it from uh, from uh, smart stores. Thank you, thank you. Yon. So uh, she editor on that for more than two years now, isn't it? Going on two years. Going on two years. Yeah. Thankfully, thank you, Lord, for, for that. Yeah. So well, because Mark, we deserve you know being uh, bagi kasi siya dun sa ano, it's fine this year. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. Uh, All right. So what are uh, what's the news with Smart? Actually, this just came in today. <laughs> um, you know. Well, actually, we did, you know, uh, the three of us already mentioned in our blogs that pre-order for the Samsung Galaxy yes. S7 and S7 Edge uh, know, are already online, okay? But this time, we have plans now. Ah, they oh, have disclosed okay. the plans. They've already, so. uh, they've already disco- uh, disclosed the plans, right? So, what do we have here? Uh, for the Galaxy S7, you can get it with Surf Plus Plan 1999. Wow. Okay. Now, thing here is, um, uh, it's free. Okay, it's if you get a Galaxy S7, it's free on Surf Plus Plan one nine nine nine. All right. Okay. But if you're gonna get the Galaxy S7 Edge, you need to pay an it's additional four thousand eight hundred as a cash out. Yeah. All for the same plan, which is Plan one nine nine nine. All right. Now, uh, aside from that, though, no, well, you have to, you know. You have to apply if you want to. Uh, if you want to get a free gift, and which I'll mention in a short while, if you want to apply, uh, get the Galaxy S Seven or the S Seven Edge mm-hmm. with a free gift. You have to apply at the Smart Online Store. Okay. okay. So what is the free gift? The free gift is a free Samsung Gear. Uh, Samsung Gear. VR oh, yes. Okay. Can you imagine it's more convenient na kami free ka pa? Which will cost you 5,000 pesos pag yeah, the, the, gear, the Gear VR2 is worth 4,999. Uh-huh. So if you're going okay. to order from the Smart Online Store, you're, you're gonna get uh, a free Gear no, VR2. And uh, some of, well, I do have it. No, uh, currently reviewing it. Nakawili. Okay? <laughs> Nakawili. Ano ang pinapanood mo pa nalas? Ang sarap panood. 
Actually, hindi ko pa nga natatry mag-game. Tomorrow nga ako mag-games for the whole time eh. Ang tanong, ano ang pinapanood? <laughs> ang pinapanood ko po ay mga 360 degrees na ano, ng movie. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, hindi ka to hindi jam. Ultraman. Hindi ka to hindi jam. Nanonood ng mga art films. <laughs> Anatomy. Biology. Anatomy. No? Yan, mga, mga name, name the porn, ano, porn artist. Cesar no? <laughs> My goodness. Let's just do a quick run doc, doc uh, of the inclusions in the Surf Plus Plan 199. Yeah, you, you, you can go, no? You so can, you have, of course, you will. if you're going to get the S7, that's yours for free already. Yeah. And you will get 9 gigabytes of data volume allowance per month. 150 minutes of calls, 200 texts to all networks, to all networks per month. Then you get one free value-added service, and of course you have one month of gadget shield, which is the gadget insurance care of Smart. So some of the, anibang bang example ng value-added services ng, uh, ng Smart? Uh, well, uh, dami kasi nun eh. No, dami. Dami. Basically, it's a plethora of like... Oh, like dami ni, kasi dati parang iilan lang. Oh, oh, oh. Ngayon parang sobrang dami ni. Eh. Yeah. In a few months, sobrang dami na content na ino. Pa iba iba kasi eh. Oh. Well, ako, the good thing about ako, Smart. Ako, ako free Vasco every month with my iPhone plan is uh, YouTube eh. Oh. So, so sulit, masulit uh, yun. Kasi Mas, masulit, mas sila yung panaking kinakain na bandwidth. Exactly. So, uh, hindi ko pinapalitan. Nandiyan ka na lang. <laughs> <laughs> bandwidth, yun yung talaga kumakain sa bandwidth natin. Uh, Actually, itong bus na to, this shows you that Smart is always working on uh, their uh, services to fit the needs of the consumer. So, if you feel like mas, mas mas social media ka, then you go, you choose a value-added service that that will give you more in terms of your usage pagdating sa Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Yeah. So, it's it's very flexible. Yeah, that's nice. You can oh. get more from one nine 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 if you're creative with your bus. <laughs> if you know how to, you know, parang you maximize your yes. offering sa yon. So sobrang sulit ng one nine nine nine. Correct. Ano nga? Magirbi yun. Yung nine gigabytes lang. Alakad na dito. Malaking nine gigabytes. So guys, if you're going to order, order from the Smart Online Store, just to be sure, para meron kayo yung gear VR. No? And we'll VR put too. the link dala si Gora Doc na. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. 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 Jam will so, 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 take care of that. Uh, you have to. Sign up right away. Don't you know? Wag yung wag yung pakawalan to. This is a very good Sign. deal. May pera kayo bumili na Very good oh. deal. No. Oh, by, by the way, for those who don't know, the Gear VR two would also work with the Galaxy Note five, S six Edge plus, the Galaxy S six and the Galaxy S six Edge. Also, meron pa yung ano yung kinuha niya dati na. Wait lang. Magkano ulit yung Gear VR do? Pagkabili niyo. Four thousand eight hundred ninety nine. Four thousand eight hundred ninety nine. So for example, pag binili pag kinuha mo just sa online store yung value na 4,999 pwede mong isipin na bayan ako to sa sarili ko tapos bigay mo lang yung 48 sa smart naka-upgrade ka pa sa S7 Edge eh kasi mo diba? hindi kasi you just need to give a cash out of 48 mm. to get to upgrade to uh, an S7 Edge kaya mo mag S7 Edge sa total lang diba? so isipin mo total nakabili naman na nakapag-order naman ako sa online store nakalibre ako ng Gear VR Yeah. Eh, isipin ko na lang, bumali ako ng Gear VR sa <laughs> store pero bigay ko sa Smart yung presyo. Naka-upgrade ako na S7 Edge, di ba? Yeah. yeah, that's a good... It is Maybe only the way you convince yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> pero ako, yun nga, kung if I were, no, I would get, get S7 get Edge. Uh, pero S7 is actually okay na rin ako eh. Masaya ako sa S7 na ginagamit ko ngayon eh. So, S7 Edge, gusto mo mas malaking display. And going back to my question earlier. Mamaya, uh, huwag ka mong kulit, Mark. Oh, so, mamaya. So, susunod natin mamaya eh. Oh, sige. <laughs> Alright, so that's our... Uh, go to the league, go to the league. That yeah. ends our new segment for, you know, mahabang new segment, but it's worth it, no? Uh, again, we're with, uh, we're with, uh, Mr. Mark Milan Makanas of uh, TechPinas.com Happy to be here uh, Along with, uh, of course, my regular co-host Jam Hindi TechPinas, kasi iba nang sasabi TechPinas ka daw T-E-C-H-I-E TechPinas It's TechPinas po, it's TechPinas TechPinas, guys Okay, so Yeah, so we'll be, you know We'll be back Ayaw ko kung kukutulin mo itong ano Kung kukutulin mo yung ano, masyado mahaba Kukutulin ka eh Yeah, mga kukutulin mo yun yeah, so ano na, uh, we're going to do a hands-on review segment. We are going to have two hands-on review uh, segments for uh, today. We're going to review the uh, Joni um, S Plus, okay? And of course, the Samsung Galaxy S7. Because the time, by the time that this video is uploaded, 
na yung embargo na yung embargo. Oh, na embargo. Naka-lift na yung embargo. Oh. So, um, sana ma-upload ni Jan. Uh, at hindi siya may FUP na ng <laughs> detect na network na yan. <laughs> Alright. So, huwag kayo, ano, uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, uh, go immediately to the hands-on review segments that we have just mentioned. Thumbs up.